Hi, welcome to Reena's YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about quadratic equations. Quadratic equation is any equation that can be rearranged in standard form as ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where x represent an unknown number and a, b and c represent known numbers where a not equal to 0. For example, 2x square plus x minus 300 equal to 0, 2x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. That is, any equation of the form p of x equal to 0, where p of x is a polynomial of degree 2, is a quadratic equation. And we should write in descending order of their degrees. Then we get the standard form of equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Here a not equal to 0. This is a standard form of quadratic equations. Next, solution of a quadratic equation by factorization. Consider the quadratic equation 2x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. If we replace x by 1 on the LHS of the equation, we get 2 into 1 the whole square minus 3 into 1 plus 1 equal to 0, which is equal to right hand side. Therefore, 1 is a root of the quadratic equation 2x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. That is that 1 is a 0 of the quadratic polynomial 2x square minus 3x plus 1. In general, a real number alpha is called the root of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Here a not equal to 0. If a alpha square plus b alpha plus c equal to 0. That is x equal to alpha is a solution of the quadratic equation or that alpha satisfies the quadratic equations. Solution of a quadratic equation by completing the square. See the first example. Now consider the quadratic equation x plus 2 the whole square minus 9 equal to 0. x plus 2 the whole square equal to 9. Therefore x plus 2 equal to 3 or x plus 2 equal to minus 3. Therefore the value of x equal to 1 or x equal to minus 5. In this example x is completely inside a square and we found the root easily by taking the square roots. Consider the another one example x square plus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. To solve this, first we can convert this quadratic equation into the form x plus a the whole square minus b square equal to 0. See the figure x square plus 4x is being converted into x plus 2 the whole square minus 4. From the figure, we can write x square plus 4x equal to x plus 2 the whole square minus 4. Therefore, x square plus 4x minus 5 is equal to x plus 2 the whole square minus 4 minus 5, which is equal to x plus 2 the whole square minus 9, which is equal to x plus 2 the whole square equal to 9. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 1 or minus 5. Next, we will see about nature of roots. Consider the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. The roots of quadratic equation is given by minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. If b square minus 4ac greater than or equal to 0. The three solution for quadratic equations are if b square minus 4ac greater than 0, we get two distinct real roots minus b divided by 2a plus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and minus b divided by 2a minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. If, if b square minus 4ac equal to 0, then x equal to minus b divided by 2a plus or minus 0. That is x equal to minus b divided by 2a or minus b divided by 2a. That is the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 has two equal real roots. If b square minus 4ac less than 0, then there is no real number whose square is b square minus 4ac. Therefore, there are no real roots for the given quadratic equations. So, a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 has two distinct real roots if b square minus 4ac greater than 0, two equal real roots if b square minus 4ac equal to 0, no real roots if b square minus 4ac less than 0.